G'day guys, today we're going to try and get some Scum VM games working on the R36S. It's a little more involved than something like Game Boy or Super Nintendo, where you just have to drag the ROMs over to the correct folder, but hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have your favourite point and click games working. Let's get into it. We're over on our Windows 10 PC now, and before we get started, it is always good to check the Scum VM compatibility list to see how well the games you want to play actually run. We're just going to Google Scum VM space Compat. Go to the top link, Compatibility Dev. Just note this compatibility list is for Scum VM itself and not for how well the games run on the R36S. Scrolling down, we can see all the games it currently supports and how well it actually runs it. And I think for this test, we will try Mixed Up Mother Goose, which is currently classed as abandoned wear. We do want to leave this tab open for later on. So we'll open a new tab. We're just going to type in Mixed Up Mother Goose Download. The top link, My Abandoned Wear. And we do want the 9091 version, not the deluxe version. Click Download and Download. Next, we want to check the Scum VM wiki to see if our game requires any additional files or modifications. Going back to Google, I'm going to type in Scum VM wiki mixed up mother goose. You'd replace it with the game name of your choice, obviously. And the top link, Scum VM wiki. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see the different versions. We download the 1991 version, which is SCI, and the short name is Mother Goose 256. We will need to know that later but it is also on the compatibility list here, right there. If we scroll down to installation, we can see the required data files for the SCI version, which is the one we have. And it looks like we have to rename all resource P and A files to get this to work. So keeping that in mind, we'll go to our downloads folder. We'll extract our Mother Goose game. We'll open up the folder. If we scroll down to resource, we can see they are already named in the correct format that Scum VM wants. So in this example, we don't have to change anything. But for your game, just follow the directions on the Scum VM wiki. So now our game files are ready. We do have to create the Scum VM launcher file. So to do that, we're just going to open up Notepad. And we want to go back to our compatibility list or at the top of this wiki. And we want to find the short name. So again, it's the 1991 version. The short name is Mother Goose 256. We want to copy that. Go back to our text file, paste it in nice and easy. And we want to save it into our game folder. So Mother Goose. Where it says save as type, go to all files. And we want to call it the same short name. So again, Mother Goose 256. Replace that with the name of your game. Dot scumvm. S-C-U-M-M-V-M. -M -M. Click save. If you have show file extensions enabled in Windows, you can just rename the file in Explorer. That should be all the files we need to get it working on our R36S. We can close off Notepad and we can close off Chrome. I'm just inserting my Marco SD with a fresh install of ArcOS. Make sure you click cancel when it asks you to format. Go back to the main folder there, MG. You want to copy that. Go to our EasyROMs folder. I'm going to go down to ScumVM. There it is there. And we just want to paste it in here. Before we eject and go back to our R36S, I do just want to double check. Our launch file is in there, and there it is there, mothergoose256.scumvm. We do need that for the R36S to detect it. Now that's done, we can safely eject our SD card. And we'll put it into our R36S. We're back on our R36S now, and the first thing you'll notice is there is no scumvm folder. That is because we have to first press start on the main menu, go down to UI settings, go down to visible systems, and we want to enable Scum Virtual Machine. Once it's enabled, just go back and back. It'll reload all the games list. We go down, we can see Scum VM. We have our MG folder, Mother Goose. Open that, and there is our launch file that we created, Mother Goose 256. And it does work. You can navigate the game by moving the mouse cursor and pressing A to click. If the game requires any keyboard inputs, you can press select, which will bring up the on-screen keyboard and use the mouse cursor and A to input letters. Pressing the tick symbol on the bottom right will send the sentence you have typed through to the game. To get out of it, just press select again. Pressing start will bring up the scum VM menu. From here, you can save and load state, change your options, 
quit out of it, or just resume. As always, the shortcut function and start twice will quit out. Although the steps may differ slightly for each game, this video should give you a rough idea on what you have to do to get your game working and hopefully guide you in the right direction. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.